Hello, welcome to St. James the Apostle Parish. We're here today to meet those who help run this parish. I'm sure you recall the Pope is head of the church throughout the world. He depends on bishops and cardinals to help him teach and preach. The United States is broken up into dioceses, and within each diocese there are many parishes. Each parish has a pastor who is responsible for leading his parishioners on their journey of faith. Pastors cannot do all this alone. Let's meet the people who help Father David Hankus, our pastor here at St. James. Hi, I'm Lisa Wiesner. I'm the coordinator of religious ed here at St. James. I'm responsible for the religious education of the students here at St. James, and they're properly formed to receive their sacraments of initiation. In my off time, I spend time with my family, my husband Joe and my three children, and I love to read. So if you have a good book, let me know. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Lisa. How are you today? I'm good, how are you doing? Fine. We joined Patricia Prindable, the administrative assistant here in the RE office, um, to find out a little bit more about what she does. Well, I help you and all the other volunteer catechists in the RE program. And when you're not here assisting us, what do you do at home? Well, I usually spend time with my family, my husband Bill, my two boys, Will and Michael, and our pet hamster, Fluffy. Oh, Fluffy's new. <laughs> Fluffy is new. <laughs> Santa dropped him off just this past year. Well, thank you for all you do for us. You're welcome. Hi, this is Paul Kirk, the principal at St. James the Apostle School. Hi, Paul. Good morning. Um, we were just wondering, what do you do here? What are some of your responsibilities? Well, as principal at St. James, I have many responsibilities. I get to take care of all of our students here at the school and all of our teachers. And we're really excited for our in-person learning this year. And in your off time? In my off time, while I'm not at school, I have a busy family and I really enjoy watching our Chicago Bears. Hi, Wes. Hi. This is Wes, our uh, facilities manager here at St. James. Wes, what are some of your responsibilities and what do you do in your off time? My responsibility is keeping this whole complex running smooth <laughs> without <laughs> any problem. It's not easy, but you know, I'm happy because these people who work here, they patient and give me time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you're not here? Uh, if I'm not here, I have a nice little dog. I spend a lot of time walking with dog, but summertime, I like fishing. Fishing. Have you ever caught anything big? Mm. Oh, depends. <laughs> what you think is big? <laughs> My biggest fish, fish what I catch here is almost 25 inches. Oh, that's big. And you're from Poland? Yes. What, why don't you give us a sign off in Polish? Dziękuję, do widzenia. This looks like a thank you, goodbye. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Lisa. Um, this is Ruby. She's our parish secretary here. Ruby, tell us what some of your responsibilities are. It is my pleasure to be the person you call to find answers to your questions as I provide care and support to all of our parishioners. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine. This is Lisa uh, Gilligan. She is the... What are all your titles again? I am the communicator of communications, liturgy, and safe environment at St. James the Apostle. You do a lot. A lot of many different things, yes. And so what is the favorite part of your job? I would say one of the favorite parts of my job is doing the website and the bulletin and doing the Facebook page and the Twitter account so that we can creatively communicate with parishioners and non-parishioners what we do at St. James and the exciting things that we're about at all times during the year. I know you're here all the time, but when you're <laughs> not here, what do you do? What I love to be out in nature. I live by a river and by forests, so one of my favorite things is to be out walking and pray while I walk. I have um, one daughter and I enjoy spending time with her, and I have two cats who are lots of fun and they entertain us all the time. 
and I just really enjoy um, expressing the things that are important to me, so I like to write as well. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Get back to your job. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Hi. This is Gina Weedman, our youth minister here at St. James. Uh, Gina, what do you do as a youth minister? Well, I feel especially blessed to be here at St. James as the youth minister. I get the joy and the honor to walk the journey of faith with both our junior high teens, 5th grade through 7th grade, as well as our high school teens, 8th grade through their senior year in high school. And then, even a little bit beyond, because when they graduate and they go on to college or go out to working, I can connect them into either the Newman Centers at college or to help them continue on their journey of faith and to grow as part of our community. What's the best part of all that? The best part of all of this is just to be able to, to hang out with the teens, to be able to have fun with them on this journey of faith, to be able to take them a little bit outside their comfort zone within asking questions and growing within faith by going on mission trips, by attending great events like the National Catholic Youth Conference, and even more. Don't you have some teens of your own at home? Well, actually, they've gotten a little <laughs> older. I do have three kids of my own. Uh, I have two sons and a daughter, and they're all young adults right now. So it's been fun also because I walked with them through their journey of faith through their teen years, and now I get to see the fruits of the labors as they're young adults. Well, thanks, Gina, for sharing a little bit with us. You're welcome. Um, well, any, any music that happens in the church, um, I'm kind of responsible for, whether that be, you know, you know playing masses for, uh, you know, on the weekends or for the uh, school masses or holy days or weddings or funerals and any of that kind of stuff. I'm the one who kind of coordinates all that stuff. Well, after you share your musical talents with us, what do you do outside of St. James? I, well, lots of stuff. I play in a band. Um, I spend time with my kids. I have twins who are 24. Um, I'm a uh, I'm a Bears fan, unfortunately. Um, I like professional baseball, so right now it's good for me because I'm a White Sox fan. Um, yeah, and that's that's really about it. Can you uh, lead us out with a little tune? Oh, I gotta now. I have to p play something on the way out. <laughs> any requests, people at home? Any requests? So now we're in here with Deacon Mike. He's our deacon at our parish. Uh, welcome, hi. Good morning, how are you? Um, can you tell us a little bit about what some of your responsibilities are here at St. James? Uh, well, first, uh, I'm Deacon Mike Fitzpatrick. I was ordained just this past August um, and assigned by the bishop uh, to our parish, which is fortunate because I'm also a parishioner here. Uh, as a deacon, uh, you may see me in our uh, liturgical ministry uh, on Sunday mornings and Saturday evenings, uh, assisting Father. When you're not here at St. James helping us and uh, providing service, which we are very appreciative of, thank you very much, what do you and Dawn like to do at home? Well, uh, uh, we love to go to the movies uh, pre-COVID. We did a lot of that. Uh, uh, we um, uh, Now with COVID, uh, we're downloading a lot of movies. Uh, we, we're just movie buffs. Um, uh, cooking, cooking something that we both enjoy, uh, especially grilling out. Uh, we have two small poodles too. Our daughters are grown. I have two grown daughters um, in their 20s and a granddaughter, two years old, that lives down a few states south of here uh, that we like to go visit and spend time with. So we're doing a lot of FaceTiming with them. Well, hello everybody. It's nice to see you today. And um, here I am in my, my office. And that's where I get a lot of things done. The telephone, the computer, and a pen are the three big tools that I have here. Of course, the Lord Jesus helping me all the time too to do all these different things. But I do a little bit of everything as a pastor. Um, this morning I will be signing all the checks that are in this folder. 
because we have to pay our bills, obviously. So just like running a household, the pastor in many ways has to take care of things in the parish. Of course, we look at this as God's house, God's family, so it's a very special family. When we think of church, we usually think of the building. It's what comes to mind in most people's uh, way of thinking. But uh, we should also think that, you know, the church is really all of us together because if we had a beautiful church building but no people to go in it, what good would the church building be? So it's the, the building, of course, and all the people gathering and what we do after we gather. We thank God, we praise God, we are nourished by the Lord himself, listening to his word, and then, of course, receiving the body and blood of Jesus. So many great gifts are given to us in the church building. But again, we are all church. We all have a part to play. If one person is missing, we know something's not awry. If something is awry, we need to have everybody together working. Um, like, you know, St. Paul says, we are many parts but one body. So that's how we look at our parish staff. Everybody contributes something according to their gifts and talents. And when we all work together, great things happen. So um, thank you, and uh, maybe we can end this with me giving you a blessing. Even though it's a remote blessing, it's still a valid blessing. So I'll give you the blessing. Dear Lord, I bless all those who are watching this presentation at this time. Please watch over them and help them to know how much they are loved by you. Help them to know that you're never alone. Help them to see you as the true light of the world. And help them to share that light with all of their brothers and sisters. So please bless them, Lord, today and every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.